Welcome back. This is our second tutorial about working with the coordinate systems. In our previous lesson, we learned about the two coordinate systems you can use in AutoCAD. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to switch polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. I'm going to begin by creating a line. Let's set our first coordinate in Cartesian coordinates. It's going to be 0, 0, the origin point. 0, tab, 0, enter to register. Let's right-click on the dynamic input toggle. Click on settings under pointer input. Let's ensure polar format is selected. Click OK and OK again to exit. The second coordinate for our line is going to be 8 units, tab 30 degrees. Press enter to accept. Right-click and enter in the drawing area to finish our line. Let's return to our diagram for a minute. Here's the polar and Cartesian grids that I'd used in our last tutorial. As you see, the length of the line is 8 units. The theta, or angle, is 30 degrees. Once again, we're dealing with a right triangle. In order to locate the second point on the Cartesian coordinate system, we need to go back to our basic math lesson for a moment. As you remember from our previous tutorial, the three sides of a right triangle are the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. Now let's figure out how we can determine the sine and the cosine of theta. These relationships determine our y and x coordinates respectively. The sine of theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, or y over r. The cosine of the angle equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse, or x over r. From here, our x and y coordinates are going to be as follows. x equals r multiplied by the cosine of theta. Our y coordinate in the Cartesian system will be determined by this equation, y equals r multiplied by the sine of theta. Okay, enough math. Let's get back to AutoCAD. We're going to bring up the calculator. Let's go to the View tab, Palettes panel, Quick Calculator, and let's expand to see the Number panel. We're able to collapse all sections of the calculator, as you can see. For our operations now, we need the Number panel and the Scientific panel. Let's activate the cosine function of 30 degrees, multiplied by 8, equals the value is approximately 6.93. This is our x coordinate, about 7 units in the positive x direction. Let's calculate the y coordinate now, the sine of 30 times 8. Thirty multiplied by 8 equals, and the value is 4. This is our y coordinate, 4 units in the positive y direction. Let's go back to the diagram just for a sec. Our polar coordinate of 8, 30 is located at 6.93, 4 in the Cartesian system. And let's return to AutoCAD. There's a way to verify our findings. Let's move the calculator away. Let's right-click on the dynamic input toggle and scroll to settings. Click settings under pointer input. Let's switch to Cartesian coordinates. OK and OK. Now let's select the line. We'll select this handle. And we see our findings were correct. Let's press Escape to deselect everything. Let's switch back to the polar coordinate system. Right click on the dynamic input toggle. Settings. Settings under polar input. Polar format. OK and OK. Activate the line tool. Let's create our first point at 0, tab. 0, enter. The next point is going to be 7 units at 150 degrees. Enter to register. And right-click and enter to exit the line tool. First, let's get the value of the x-coordinate. It's going to be the cosine of 150 and we'll multiply that by 7. Multiply by 7 equals and we've got about 6 units in the negative x direction. Let's find the y coordinate next. We'll take the sine of 150 multiplied by 7 equals and the value is 3.5 in the positive y direction. Let's verify our findings. Right click on the dynamic input toggle. Scroll to settings. 
Settings again. Switch to Cartesian coordinates. OK and OK. Let's select our line. Select this handle. And our findings were indeed correct. This concludes our second tutorial about the coordinate systems.